Hey guys. <clears throat> Put you in the light. Uh, I don't even know what I'm coming on here for. Really, I don't. Um, I'm feeling the kind of way today. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. I'm not. I'm not sad. I'm not sad. Um. I don't know. I just feel out of sorts, and I shouldn't feel that way, especially not today, because. God has really shown um, me today that even when you think people not thinking about you, that they really are thinking about you. And what I mean by that is, and let me just say, uh, I hope everybody's in a good state of mind that they are in a healthy state of mind um but i like to kind of work through uh, my thoughts and my feelings and my emotions so that's pretty much i guess that's why i'm making this video huh <laughs> but anyway uh i don't know was it yesterday because my days are kind of jumbled up right now because i've been off work for um, a long time, longer than normal, longer than my two days off, um, cause the boys are sick. They have been diagnosed as having RSV, and I have never heard of what the heck RSV. I've never heard of this. So, it's some kind of a bronchial, respiratory um, situation. So, that's what, what they have. And they've been out since Thursday. So, I had to call off work Thursday. My normal off days are Friday and Saturday. I missed out on a wonderful, work, a wonderful party. Um... The young ladies that I hang out with um, from work were giving a pajama party, Christmas pajama party, and I wanted to go. I was so amped, but, you know, the boys come first, so, anywho, what I was originally saying was my sister's called me and just out of the blue and asked if I needed help with Christmas for the boys financially and it kind of took me aback a little bit because um, I mean my oldest sister she's always got a handle on um making something out of nothing financially like that lady right there I'm saying she just she got the Midas touch <laughs> um and so my family is kind of a unique we have a unique bond with each other um my two sisters they're the closest with each other and then it's my brother my sister before me and then me right so we're not really tight like that okay that's the best way I could put it we love each other don't get me wrong we love each other and and I think a lot of it is due to the age difference because the, my sister that's over me is, I think she's like seven or eight years older than I am. And then the age gap gets bigger because I'm the baby. So the age gap gets bigger 
the older my siblings are. All right. My, a matter of fact, my sister, that my oldest sister, she's 71. So that give you, and I'm 52. So that give you an idea of our age difference, right? Anyway, they reached out to me and asked if I needed help with getting Christmas for the boys. And I was like, and you got to know me because I, it's not easy for me to, to accept help. And, oh, is that what I'm trying to say? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And it's not that I'm prideful. I guess it's just that I don't want nobody holding stuff over my head. That that's what it is right there. I don't want nobody holding nothing over my head because my mom always taught us that, you know, to be weary when people are extending help to you. So I didn't want, I didn't, you know, I had to work through those feelings, you know, over the years. So I ain't, I ain't there yet. <laughs> I'm just not, I'm not there yet, y'all. Um, that's something that I'm still working on. Um, but anyway, so I said, yeah, I said, yes, I can use the help. And, um, because everything kind of got, um, thrown out of whack on my side financially with a, a situation. And I'll get into that later. That's going to have to be a separate video. But I, and I, I said, yes, I said, yes, I need the help. So she said, well, how much, you know, now again, I'm put into this ooh, situation where it's hard for me. So I, I just said a hundred dollars would be fine. So, so she's, my daughter is coming. My oldest girl is coming. And so she's going to um, send it by her. Um, so then <laughs> my brother called me this morning. And I didn't recognize the number and I wasn't going to answer the number because I've been getting crazy phone calls. And so... Um, I mean, I'm just gonna keep it 100. I've never, I've not been in this situation in a long time to where I'm having a hard time making my bills. I'm, I'm being 100, and I'm being honest with you guys. Um, this situation that I went through, it has literally knocked me out of my routine, my paying my bills on time, paying my credit cards on time, all of that. Um, so my brother calls this morning. He's like, um, Gina, um, I'm, I'm going to send you, um, some money. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Okay. And I'm, I'm not, gonna put his business out there because that's not my place but my brother has been through a lot in the last I want to say this last decade to be honest um and God has touched his life in a magnificent way um and it has allowed him to do a whole 360 in his life and in the relationship that he has with God. And I'm so over the top thankful to God for that and for for blessing him. And so he's like, well, I'm going to send you some money too. I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. And that's the reason why I cannot pinpoint why I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? Um, and like I said, it's, I'm not... I'm not sad. I, I feel like I'm in limbo. 
I don't know if that makes sense. I feel like I'm in the... Uh, and a lot of it, too, could be that I'm probably getting the baby's germs, as, as you can hear. Um, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's not that I'm sad or, you know, not happy or depressed or feeling anxiety or anything like that. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm not feeling too good. And I, I think that might be what it is, you know... Subconsciously, though, to keep it 100, um, I'm missing, I'm missing my, my Troy. I'm, I'm missing my Troy. I'm missing him a lot. And, um, I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to start crying. Um, but subconsciously, uh, I'm missing him, you know. Um, he filled a void that I had, and now he's gone. And so now I guess I feel that void. Um, is back. Um, so, yeah. Um, wow, I guess... Talking to you guys is kind of helping me to sort things out and try to figure out why I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling. Um, so yeah, I guess I guess that's the answer, huh? I guess I guess that's the answer. So I just been piddling around today cleaning and um I must say it has given me time to actually sit down and watch a little bit of TV because I don't really get that luxury I don't get the luxury of being able to watch TV you know in, in a reasonable time you know it's always um after the boys have gone to bed and I got to hurry up and watch TV, you know, because I got to get up early in the morning. And so I'm actually able to just kind of live in the moment and, and, and feel the moment and just be in the moment. You know what I mean? And so I guess I'm just. with you guys I don't everything has been crazy everything has been out of order everything has been out of line and you know as far as me organizing how I do things and how I run my household it has been absolutely crazy banana crazy and it has caused my anxiety level to be increased you know, um, and I feel it because it's all in the back of my neck. Um, just the, the whole, ugh, the whole tightness is just all in my neck. So I got to work through that. Um, and which is why I tackled the last two weeks. I tackled getting things in order, getting, um, things organized and things like that so it that has helped so right now I'm washing um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing that but I, I just wanted to come in and just kind of um, share what I have been feeling um, today and maybe I could kind of do this a lot more um, in the future so yeah, let me get off of here and um, get back to some things that I need to take care of. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy holidays if I don't get back before Christmas, but I think I should. I'll be back. I should be back before Christmas. At least I'll post some videos um, before Christmas gets here. Stay focused on God. Stay prayerful. Share.
this is the season for sharing so share what knowledge does have to be financial you can share um, your knowledge with someone you can just be there for someone um, so do that continue to do that Con continue to stay uplifted and happy and joyous and stay connected within in your being stay fancy and stay with us